This mouse is in high demand. I know people want to watch this review before buying. So for them, I would just say it's basically an ultralight phantom with some improvements, including being even lighter. And yes, it's better. And remember, you can get a discount by using my code RJN. You get the discount and it helps support the channel. It's win-win. So many thanks as always. Good luck. Okay, now the review. When the Final Mouse Ultralight Pro first came out, I asked, can a mouse be too light? The answer was maybe, but not yet. Now the F58 Ninja is even lighter. My scales are not accurate, and a bit of cable will change the results compared to what the companies say. But the Phantom weighs in at about 72 grams, and the F58 weighs in at 10 grams lighter, 62. And yes, you can feel the difference. Without a cable and better scales, these mice are meant to be 58 grams, which is how it got its name, F58. So is this mouse too light? The answer is no. They can probably go even lighter. I've been doing a lot of testing with the F58 and Phantom, and I can hit between 3 and 10% high accuracy with the F58. Okay, that doesn't sound like much, I know, but every bit counts. This mouse is made for competitive shooter players. Some people benefit from weight in a mouse, it helps steady their aim, but this mouse isn't made for them. Personally, I want to see how light they can go. Because I've already reviewed this design, I just want to focus on the differences. If you want to see the measurements and hand size guide, I recommend you watch my full review. The Final Mouse Ultralight Pro link is in the description. I'll just say here, ideally, your hand should be about 8 inches long, or 20 centimeters, by 3.93 inches wide, or 10 centimeters. And that would be for claw or fingertip grip. Other hand sizes can still use it, of course, and I'm still waiting on a smaller version so I can use it as my main. Anyway, it's the same shape, and in my opinion, one of the best on the market. It has really nice comfort curves in the buttons, which feel even better with the slightly rubberized coat on top. Should be the same as the Phantom in Sunset. The sides could be improved a bit more in my opinion, but they're quite safe, with just enough curve to assist with grip and comfort. These sides are just plastic, and yes, you can feel those holes, but I didn't even think about them while I was playing. It is personal preference, but this mouse is just about aiming your best. They have made some extra improvements, so I'll quickly go through some of the list. A lot of it's been redesigned to make it even lighter, including the PCB and base, along with the sides but they're made to retain their strength. And also hardened scroll wheel materials. Speaking of the wheel, it now has a haiku on it. I have no idea what mine say, they're kind of just showing off at this point. They're hand printed and engraved. The cable is the best you can get on a mouse out of the box at the moment. Super flexible and in a bungee it feels like it's wireless which is extremely important on a mouse this light. The buttons have been improved too. The new clicks feel more crisp. Here's a quick listen to those. The scroll wheel is smoother and not as loud, but they're not as crisp as the Phantom. Also no latency or ghosting issues on the buttons, and it doesn't fire when I slam it down. It's a 3360 sensor, so of course the performance is top. No issues that I can find. So if you want the mouse with the best sensor, this is one of many. If you want to see my full sensor testing, you can check the link in the description. But you see the movement and gameplay here, the mouse performs extremely well. One minor issue is that the mouse feet don't feel smooth at first. I've heard of this before, but never experienced it, but I had it on both of these. Final Mouse told me to just keep using them, as the scratchy feeling will disappear, and they were right, it's now gone. So all good there. And lastly, this is made for Ninja, so two colors, Cherry Blossom Blue and Cherry Blossom Red. To conclude, most people I've spoken to absolutely love the Phantom, and the F58 takes everything that made that mouse great and makes it even better. The shape, weight, sensor, and cable are all in the top tier of mice. Arguably, those are the most important aspects. It could easily be the number one choice for a lot of people, but as personal preference, and as always, I recommend you find what's right for you. And no mouse is perfect. I've seen some concerns about the products, but I see that with all products. Final Mouse have a three year warranty on their mice, so if you do have a problem, make sure you contact support. As I said, it's still too big for me personally, 
I really hope they make this for my hand size because it's definitely my kind of mouse. If it suits your hand size already, lucky you. It's going to retain the rank of the Phantom in my top 40 because the changes weren't enough to really put it above the feature loaded G Pro wireless. But again, you have to get what's right for you. So don't stress about the number too much. Personally, I use number three. Anyway, I know they're hard to get, so I wish you luck in getting one. Reminder, you can use my code RJN for a discount and help support what I do. And as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next. Let's see.